Welcome to the Freediving and Spearfishing Tips channel. This channel is dedicated to helping freedivers and spearfishers achieve their goals. And for you spearfishers, check out the latest video, Attracting Fish. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It keeps us cracking. The subject for this clip is knee bends and finning. Now it's something we hear a lot. You know, blah, blah, knees are too bent, etc., etc. We're going to ask the question, why do people excessively knee bend? And really, it comes down to avoiding stress and muscle fatigue. Simple. The reason people knee bend is they're trying to make it easier for themselves. It all comes down to overly stiff fins stressing the muscles out. Now, We've got muscles here that are new to this exercise for a start. And what do we do? We put them into plastic fins. Now, plastic fins are notoriously stiff compared to carbon fiber. So a person to actually get some sort of action without stressing their legs and ending up with cramps and that bends their knee. It relieves the pressure on their muscles and it relieves the stress. So they bend their knees. Now there are two places here that you can bend your knees and it's coming down where you bend your knees to lessen the pressure of the downward stroke and the other one of course is when your foot's coming up and you're lessening the pressure of the upward stroke. Okay let's have a look at that shall we? So here's a carbon fin and let's have a look at what happens when we try and relieve the pressure of the upward stroke. Okay, so this is the stroke that's going to go this way. Now we want the stroke to push pressure like that, to push it out that way, right? However, if your muscle structure struggles to hold that, you'll end up slipping the fin that way to do your upward stroke. We've talked about this in earlier video, and what this does then is it has water pressure. Push the fin up, and then you come into the downward stroke. So not only are you not even getting a, a, a really good upward stroke going at that point, you are also now creating more drag as the water pressure pushes that up fin before the down stroke. So that's, it'll look like, the fin will look like that, okay? Now, the downward stroke is a bit different. Most of the power in a finning technique is on the downward stroke, okay? Now, the downward stroke, way it works is the stroke's up here and the person bends the knee, bringing the fin like that, and then brings it down. So you lose a really good section of the most important part of your whole stroke. So instead of going down, building that up, you know, to the point where it's really going to go and then you move into the next cycle, right? You start bringing it down and pull it that way. And then it goes down. So you've lost so much. So these are the two, uh, two places. On the downward stroke, you know you're getting a good one. You're feeling the pressure across here, okay? And you want to do that. From the moment you've started moving down, you want the pressure there. Across the top of your foot there. Now, on the upward stroke, you are pushing the ball of your feet into the fin pocket inside here. At that point, it's about there, and you're pushing it that way. Okay? So you will feel the push there. Okay? So there's your two things to look for. We're going to show you some videos where you can actually see this in action, where the downward stroke is uh, corrupted and when the upward stroke is corrupted. Okay, and then we're going to have a look at some videos where there's a much more balanced stroke. Now this is an example of a upstroke that is being relieved by the dragging of the heel forward. See the bent knee relieves the pressure of the upstroke. And he's able to pull that fin in the same direction he's going without it doing much work at all. 
In this clip, we see the diver bending his knee on the downward stroke. Now, we're all going to bend it a bit because it helps accentuate the stroke. But here, he's bending it to relieve the pressure. So he's dragging the fin forward on the downward stroke and he's only getting the final end of that downstroke to actually work for him. In this clip, we see a small knee bend in both the up and down. So he's actually pushing the fin all the way they're going to be pushed. Now, it is a smaller kick, but look how the fins are working. The fins are working for him. And here we have another one where once more, smaller legs, less knee bend, smaller leg movement, but look at these fins work. Okay, they're being pushed up and they're being pulled down. You're getting the most that you can get out of those fins in a good technique. So, there's a few things you can do here. The first one is get yourself videoed. And video yourself or get your friends to video you regularly so you can check out exactly what's happening with your style. It's very important. There's no way to coach people faster than if they actually see what they're doing themselves. Sometimes you're doing something you do not realize you're doing. A great way to train with this is to train with your legs as straight as you can get them. So you're definitely getting an upstroke without a knee bend and a downstroke with very little knee bend. You cannot fin with a completely straight board like leg, but when you try very hard to keep them straight, you'll often find yourself giving yourself just enough bend to keep your profile straight and, and narrow in the water and get the most out of your fins. Anyway, there's a bit of work to be done on this. Have fun working with it and look, be attention to detail on this because once you've got it, you're going to get the best out of your, your finning. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It keeps us focused. Okay, that's it for tonight. See you in the pool.